to get crucified like that for all the work he's done as well. It was absolutely disgusting. I don't even, I hate newspapers still at this day because of it. I hate the news so much. I'm energized. I've came back to life. Reborn in a whole new line. No enemies inside. I'm what up, guys? It's David Jar. Welcome back to Jack Our Back. Uh, I found a bit time to do this, uh, mainly because I've kept them waiting for so long. Michael, mate. He has your video eventually. I know you, you honestly, I swear to God, guys, as well, he's been asking for a, about a year. I swear, probably even longer, to be fair, because he's been a viewer for a long time. And he's always wanted Scandal done. And I've just been so busy, or I've been having to do other stuff that I've just completely forgot about it. But yeah, he's one of my Patreon members, and he also donates from time to time as well. So I really appreciate your help, mate. Honestly, really thank you so much. And anyone that does support us. But yeah, thanks for your support, mate. I thought I'd, I'd eventually do yeah, a video for you. Uh, I've heard Scandal before, by the way. I'm pretty sure I said it months ago. I've seen little previews of the video, like in, like, say, Queen documentary things or a Queen edit. Please subscribe, guys. The links and stuff will be in the, like, below here. Yeah, I was going to say description there. Uh, please subscribe, follow me socials, me Twitter, me Instagram if you want more news and also follow the Jack Up Back uh, Twitter page on Twitter. If you'd like to support the channel guys, the links are in the description. Anything helps honestly, so thank you so much. But yeah, let's get into it. This one's for you mate, so let's go. Scandal. Love this intro. Just want to say before it kicks in, I love the intro of this. It's so good. I love this song. Jack a back straight away, yeah. Jack. Mainly, I love that intro. I love the ooh, and it goes dum 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 dum. The bass is lovely. It's not not a hard thing to play. It's not like a really technical note at all, but it's just really intense. It's a very intense song, and I'm assuming the video is going to be intense as well. Looking by what I'm seeing so far. Loving the set, I love the set. I know, like I say, I've seen like a few previews and edits and stuff like that, or documentaries and stuff, because I heard this on the Queen documentary. That's where I heard it. Um, but yeah, I love the set. The set is great. <laughs> I've, I've said this a million times now, right? But Freddy's range as he got older is just completely... It's, a, it's a, like an anomaly for me, how he managed to get higher in range as he got older. Because usually you'd expect as you get older to not be able to do the stuff he used to be able to do, but he just exceeded expectations. <laughs> I love the way he stretches his notes out like that. The beautiful thing about a Queen song, right, is that even if you've heard the song before, you can still jack it back. Even a year on after reacting to the videos that you've requested, I've heard it a million times. I still, I still jack back the uh, Lap of the Gods dog whistle, still to this day, every time. Love 
I love the lyrics on this. I absolutely love the lyrics. Obviously, it's a deep song, you know, considering yeah, the, the yeah. amount of horrible, horrible things that are coming out about Freddie in the 90s as well. How good he was as a person, how much work he'd done for all the fans all over the world, how, how loved he was to get crucified like that for all the work he's done as well. It was absolutely disgusting. I don't even, I hate newspapers still at this day because of it. I hate the news so much. Jack it back again. Jack <laughs> Woo! See, I know the lyrics, but it's just such a... I love, his, I love his voice so much, man, on this. I love the tune as well. The tune isn't really that uh, artistically um, dynamic either. I think this song was meant to be focused on the lyrics. You don't want a big, massive, crazy instrumental when he's doing lyrics as deep as this, you know what I mean? This chorus so much, Jack are back. Jack, yeah. Oh my days, his voice is so clean here, yes. and you can hear the emotion in his voice as well. Because this is, you know, all you guys have told me before as well. Like Freddie, back in the day when he wrote songs, were more philosophical meanings than personal meanings. I think this is a very personal song to Freddie Mercury, obviously, because it's about the the stuff that was really happening to him at the time. Really powerful, really powerful. <laughs> I love his beard. I know I said this ages ago, but I think he's really suited the beard. He looks really smart, and I like his jacket as well. Jacket back for that for broad. Oh Jesus! Machine gun, brrrr, chat about again. What was the lyric there? Hang on, two minutes guys, let's chat about. That, that sounds very personal, that one, because I see that with newspapers still to this day, that it's so cheap, the drama they go for, so I, that's a very, very hard-hitting lyric there. Jack it back. I, I heard the machine gun again, I can't help it, Jack it back. Jack it! All that back, I love the way he comes in with a high up, goes up a little semi octave. Jack, yeah. It's actually incredible, yeah, how Freddie was able to do all of this because during this time he was really ill. At this point, he was dying, and such a testament to Freddie how strong he was to do this and battled with probably crippling pains, crippling pain, honestly, to do this for, for everyone that loved him. It's such a testament how strong that man really was, man. Say that all that little part you done there, that's the power of music that. Remember I remember when I done the uh, the faves, it was Joy Division, Ian Curtis. 
And for some reason, that little scene there where, and he, do, he used to do a lot of that, come on, it's Freddie Mercury, he was very charismatic, but a lot of the stuff I think he does on stage or when he'd done it on videos and stuff was because he was really in the element of music. And it really brought back them old vibes of listening to Joy Division, where Ian Curtis is like literally, like, it looks like he's just doing random stuff, but he's just so lost in the music. That's in, the, in another world. <laughs> Sorry to pause again, guys, but you know them little bits there, like that? That's what I've been talking about for a while now with, like, certain videos. Like, you normally see a video, or, like, it was in that shuffle episode I've done with Low Pro, where the emotion in the video really adds to the song more. Like, I see that, and then I hear the, the instruments in the background. It sounds, it brings such more intensity to what I'm feeling. Honestly, videos add so much to, to artwork. Such a fucking hard hitting lyric there, Jotta Bach. Jack, yeah. Look, you me pleading. I'll say for God's sake, damn. And it, you can imagine how bad it was for him, honestly. Like he still marched on, he still put the work in, he still made music, he still lived for his fans, he, he still kept being Freddie Mercury, and that's the important thing that he didn't let it drag him down to the point where he couldn't do anything anymore. He, did, he never gave up. Never, ever gave up. That shows how powerful music was to him and his fans. Guitar squeals, Jack a bar. Yeah. It's that classic 80s, 90s reverb, that very, what I would call it is pre delay, where you put loads of it on, it's a massive reflection, it sounds so big. Echo is the normal people call it. Really nice, loving it. The bit that's coming up is my favourite part of the song. I love that vocoder effect sort of thing. Imagine if I was still making music now. It's such a shoot. It's like such a shot to the heart. I can just imagine what music you would have made later on in the 90s, 2000s. And even today, if you were still alive today. Imagine what we're doing 10 years later with Freddie still here. I can't imagine the sort of sounds you would be making. that shit, you know what I mean? He just means it. He means everything he's saying in this song. That is another hard hitting lyric. Today, the headlines, tomorrow, hard times. That is such a great lyric. This is such a great lyrical piece. Honestly, the lyrics on this are so good. And it brings us back to my early point on why the, the tuning isn't that dynamic. Like, it's not all over the place. It's not like a typical uh, roller coaster. You know what I mean? It's not too much going on to the point where you can't decipher certain things. I think this was made 
intentionally to get the lyrics across more than the instrumental. The instrumental's great, don't get us wrong. They've stripped it back a bit on this one to let Freddie's lyrics shine forth. You know what I mean? Honestly, like they, that, them lyrics there were absolutely great. Today the headlights, tomorrow hard times And no one ever really knows the truth from the lies And in the end the story deeper must hide Deeper and deeper and deeper inside Jack it back! Jack it! Ah oh, man, I love that because like he's so good at articulating how he's coming across. Like that little bit there where he's like trying to speak calm as if like imagine you're talking to someone before you have an argument with them. Like you're trying to get your point across nice and gentle, but then when they're not listening, like these horrible you know what's in the papers back in the nineties did not care at all. And when people don't listen to you, you tend to go from calm to a hundred real quick, and that's what it feels like in that little end part there. Deeper must hide, deeper and deeper and deeper Wow. Just knowing the backstory behind it, obviously, like, I'm well into the Queen rabbit hole now. I know pretty much everything there is to know about his later life. I've seen the documentaries. I've seen all of your guys' comments. And watching that video, number one, I just want to say, an absolutely fantastic video. The set they created and the way they shot the video was absolutely amazing. Like, it's one of the best videos I've seen, honestly, on terms of, like, artist, artistic setting. That is a, one of the best videos I've seen. It's not just outside a little wall or on a road. Like the, the full set and anything. They built a proper amazing set. This song was about the lyrics, honestly, to me. And my favourite one was uh, Today the Headlines, Tomorrow Hard Times. In that bit where he's speaking calm. No one really knows the truth from the lies. And then he just explodes. Honestly, that bit was my favourite part. I know I've heard the song, but seeing the video with it makes you feel like you're listening again for the first time. Thanks for getting on to his, um, the Jack That Back fan page, actually, because I know Mike's been asking for ages, so I hope you like it, mate. But the Jack That Back fan page was the one that uh, kept reminding us. Please follow the Jack That Back fan page because you'll you'll find out more about new drops. You'll find out more about uh, secret, like, secret videos I'm going to be doing for you. Uh, there's a lot of little things on there, it's exciting on there, honestly they'll always keep you up to date as well. Follow the Twitter page, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time, and peace. I'm energized, I've came back to life